Binary information comes in many forms, and it doesn't always come in the form of a zero and a one. Here are three different examples where, in terms of central locks on a car, we have the words yes or no. Uh, we have sometimes the abbreviations of this where we have just a Y and an N. Sometimes we'll have something like auto transmission or manual transmission. All of it's binary information, and because it's in textual form, we cannot put it in a correlation matrix and or run other sort of statistics or numbers on it. But in reality, this can be quickly changed over to numeric values because it's just going to be a zero or one. There are a number of ways to do this. One easy way to do this is with a if statement in Excel. So we can say take something like this value in D2, and if it is equal to yes, then we can put in a 1, and otherwise put in a 0. And so what this does then is, if we look at this, you can see the formula. If D2 equals yes, these, these textual values must be in quotes, then put in a 1, otherwise put in a 0, and we copy this down, then we've now converted that over to binary information. And the same thing happens uh, for these other columns. So, for example, if I wanted to do this for this automatic transmission, I could do an if statement. But this time, if that equals auto, then 1 else 0. And so, because it does equal auto, then it's putting that in. And so you can see that this uh, is quickly and easily done, and you can copy this down to other values. Now, Jump has a built-in scripting language that will allow you to be able to convert values from one column into another column. And I'm just going to show you how it can be used to take something that's textual binary information and convert it over into numerics. So how is this done? Well, here's an example of doing it in Jump. You can see that we have an if statement. If central lock equals yes, Jump has, instead of just one equal sign, like some other languages, jump has two equal signs. So if central lock equals yes, in quotes, then put in a 1. Otherwise, put in a 0. So this is a classic if statement. If you look at it inside the, the formula, this is what it looks like in the formula when it's not being shown sort of more visually. We have an if statement. The central lock, which is the name of this field, is preceded by the colon. This is the way jump knows that this is actually referring to a column name and then the double equal sign and then whatever is in text and then put in a 1 or put in a 0. So this is what it looks like when it's in textual form and this is what it looks like when jump does it this way. Let's just do it from scratch. All right, so we'll make a new column. And we're going to set the data type to be numeric and continuous, which is fine, because what we're going to come up with is actually a binary information. I'm going to go down to Column Properties, select the formula, and then we want to edit the formula. What happens at that point is this dialog comes up, where we're able to take a value like central lock and click on it, and it will show up in the formula. And so now all we really have in here is the value of central lock, and so we're just pointing over at that whatever value is in that column. And so now we can set our if statement. If central lock equals double equal signs, in quotes, yes, then 1, else 0. So now we put that in there, and so now it's going to go over and look inside central locks and see what's in there. And since central lock is a Y, then it'll meet the criteria here and substitute this for a 1. Uh, if it goes over and finds an N in there, so it's not a yes, then it will substitute in a 0. Now this is not limited to just being able to do a Y or a no. It can be any value. We could have uh, something like the word yes and the word no. We could also have male or female. We could have those two textual words. Any sort of binary information that's in there can be used to be able to convert whatever is in this cell over here into binary information.